Great. How's it going? And um, who would you give MVP to for this uh, season so far? Hi, uh, I'm good. Uh, for our team, the MVP of, of our team for the whole season? Yeah. Um, oh, that's a tough one. I'll probably go Abbott, just because he earned it from the major, I guess. So he can have a little bit of a carryover from that. <laughs> a little bit of carry. That's very nice. That's very nice of you. Um, in these kind of convincing series, um, how much do you communicate compared to like a major playoff game, for example? I think you want to keep it as as consistent as possible. Like obviously, it's not the same, but you want to at least try to emulate as much as possible. So we we try our best. You know, some it, it's a little bit late. We're playing at like nine p.m., so that definitely hurts the focus also a little bit. So. I think there's there's multiple factors, but I think this series was pretty good for us. I think everyone was was aware and, and focused for the games. Suddenly looked like right. it. Fit. I mean, kind of on that topic a little bit. Who is the player that is most likely to like feed or lose concentration out of like boredom in like your scrims or <laughs> matches? Oh, tour. Our tour. <laughs> <laughs> Off the shelf. Zero hesitation. <laughs> Didn't have to think oh, yeah, about that it. Was, that was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one is going to... What is the uh, biggest Bulba strength as a coach for your team, in your opinion? Uh, I think the biggest thing is probably stability. Like, he is very confident in his ideas about openers, and he, the heroes that he know, he knows them really well. He knows both sides of it, like what's what they need to function and what's also good against them. So I think he's definitely really good at, at working around the offlane player. Like, he has Bulba's mostly an offlane player, so I think... Those heroes are like what he knows how to build around, and I think we use that well as a team. All right, great. All right, all right.